Hello everyone. Our today's topic is nephloxetic effect. Now, nephloxetic effect is a very widely used in inorganic chemistry of transition metals. Now, what would happen that when you the free metal ion is there, you know, between the two electrons in the same orbital, there is inter-electronic repulsion. And that inter-electronic repulsion is measured by Raka parameter B. Even sometimes C is also used, but B is the most significant Raka parameter that we have already discussed in previous lectures. So, we have focused on the value of Raka parameter B in the free metal ion. Let us say it is B. When it forms complex with the ligand, you know, metal and ligand bond is formed. And when this lig metal ligand bond is formed, let us say its Raka parameter is B dash. So what happened? That this Raka parameter value will decrease when that metal form bond with the ligand. And this effect of decrease in Raka parameter when a metal ion form complex, that is called nephloxetic effect. So B is Raka parameter for free ion, B dash for complex ion. So B dash is always less than B and that is called nephloxetic effect. From where this term comes, the name nephloxetic, it comes from the Greek word which means cloud expanding. Cloud expanding. How do this cloud expand? Because you know metal has a d orbital. Now when it forms a bond with the ligand, you know two atomic orbitals combine to form a large molecular orbital and therefore those two electrodes are delocalized in the more wider region and because of that more distance between the two electrons in the same orbital, the inter-electronic repulsion between them decreases. And that is called cloud expanding. So, decrease in Raka parameter means decrease in inter-electronic repulsion between the two electrons in the same orbital. Initially, it is in the free metal ion orbital. That is the atomic orbital. When it attach with the ligand from the complex and the metal orbital and ligand orbital, they combine linearly to form molecular orbital. And that molecular orbital is larger in size. And that's why repulsion between the two electrons decreases because the distance between them increases which implies size of the orbital is larger in the complex and this electron cloud expansion effect may occur for one or both of two reasons first you know metal ion has a positive charge so when ligand is attached to that particular metal then there is a decrease there is a reduction in the positive charge on the metal effective positive charge on the metal has decreased as d electron can expand slightly because ligand overlap metal orbital and therefore it expanded means initially it is a balloon and it is stretched so when the balloon is stretched you know distance increases same is the case here and second thing overlapping of the atomic orbitals of the metal and the ligand that forming the covalent bond increases the orbital size because molecular orbital is formed here. Atomic orbitals combine together to form the molecular orbital which is larger in size. And more is the overlapping, more is the delocalization, lesser is the value of the uh, parameter. Now, nephloxetic Parameter. parameter is defined as the ratio of B, Raka parameter in the complex, divided by Raka parameter of free metal ion. Let us say B of complex is denoted by B dash. 
divided by b and you know b dash is always less than b because of the delocalization and therefore beta is always less than 1 and its value ranging from 0.7b to 0.9b or beta decreases as delocalization increases and experimentally you know the size of beta or we can say value of beta always follow a certain trend with respect to nature of the ligands present even it also depends upon the nature of the metal and its charge to so see nephloxetic series that is very very important competitive exams there is always a question from nephloxetic series nowadays so the list of ligands or metal lines when they are arranged on the basis of the strength of the nephloxetic effect that is called nephloxetic series so first nephloxetic series for ligands how to remember this series i have one trick for you first add water to urea to form ammonia so first fried water urea and to form ammonia you know when you add water in urea you will get ammonia as the product along with carbon dioxide so this is first part now for en then write so then non cooperative system calls can Abad Azad India. So then Ian non cooperative system NCS calls TL negative and TN negative Abad BR negative Azad Azide ion N3 negative and India I negative. So that's whole scenario you can remember it like first add water to urea to form ammonia then non cooperative system call can prabad azad india this is the trick to remember your nephloxetic series or ligands now nephloxetic series of metal ions so here see manganese vanadium nickel molybdenum chromium iron then rhodium iridium cobalt platinum palladium see as oxidation number increases in most of the cases the nephloxetic parameter that is denoted by k for the metal ion that increases and in this case here nephloxetic parameter of ligands that is denoted by h the total nephloxetic effect in a complex that is proportional to the product of h and k h for ligand and k for metal ion so in this way we can calculate the total nephloxetic effect in a given complex this data is taken from j hui james he book you can refer that book if you wish to now how to calculate the value of b and b dash so you know in case of chromium 3 plus you know chromium is 3d5 4s1 chromium 3 plus is 3d3 or 3d3 the ground state is 4f and same multiplicity state is 4p so difference between 4p and 4f that is 15p so if you know the difference between these two states then it is equal to 15b you can calculate b easily okay now when complex is formed this is for free metal ion right for free ion now when complex is formed 
and we put off there is no mixing of you know these are t1g t1g states which are nearby they should interact if we think there are no interaction between them is no mixing then you know four up states split into a2g t2g and t1g and state does not split but it transformed into t1g now you know when t1g of f is closer to t1g of p they interact and because of that interaction energy of the lower energy state decreases and energy of the higher energy state increases by some amount let us say x is the amount by which it increases by the same amount it will decrease okay now let us calculate frequency of transition so you know for a to g to 4 t to g one transition for a to g to 4 t 1 g second transition and for a to g to 4 t 1 g third transition and in for a to g to 4 t 1 g frequency is maximum that is new p observed frequency is 34400 for a to g to t1 gf value is 22700 and a to g to t2 g the value is 14900 without mixing the predicted value is see there is a difference of 10 dq between for a to g to 4 t2 g now from For a to g to 4 t 1 g, when there is no mixing, is considered, then it is 10 plus 8 means total 18 d q. And last one, from this is 15 b, and from for a to g to 4 t 1 g p, so this value is actually 12. So 12 d q plus 15 b. So 15 b is equal to you know new 3. Plus new two, so it is 30 dq. If we minus 30 dq, it comes out to be 15 b. So new three value plus new two value minus three new one. Then in this way we can calculate b when there is no mixing. But you know whenever two states with the same symmetry are very close to each other, then there should be the bending of lines they repel each other and therefore there is a increase in energy of the higher level and decrease in energy of the lower level and this is the correction so on correction if we do say without correction the predicted value is 30700 but the observed value is you know is far away from it same is the case with new two predicted value is 26800 but actual value is 22700 third for new one it doesn't make any difference is there any mixing or not that means when these values predicted values are away from the observed value there is some correction is required so when this correction is introduced the corrected cost constants are introduced then see the value corrected theoretical value comes out to be 34800 very close to observed value corrected value is 22400 for new two very close to observed odd has no difference at all so now when we have this mixing you know the value up to this this is 12 dq and it is 15 b dash plus x so see 12 dq 15 b dash plus x and what about this 18 dq minus the total 18 minus x 18 dq 
minus x and last is 10 dq so 15 b dash now it is equal to new 3 plus new 2 minus c new 1 the new 3 plus new 2 so plus x minus x cancel minus 3 new 1 so in this way we calculate 15 b dash if all the three transitions are observed in this way you will get b dash and b and from that you can calculate beta now this is this nephloxetic effect give us an idea of the limitation of the crystal field theory according to crystal field theory there is an electrostatic interaction between the ligand and the metal because metal and ligands are considered as the point charges in crystal field theory there is no covalent character but the flexetic effect tells us that there should be some overlapping of metal and the ligand and there is a covalent character between the metal and the ligand we can say that nephloxetic effect is nothing but it measures the covalent character between the metal and the ligand and more is the overlapping more is the covalent character between the metal and ligand lesser is the value of b dash and therefore lesser is the value of beta so as b dash decreases covalent character increases so you can write beta is inversely proportional to covalent character between the metal and a ligand more is the covalent character lesser is the value of beta and directly proportional to ionic character between the metal and the ligand that's all for the day thank you so much for watching this video do like subscribe and share my channel god bless you all happy learning jai hind jai bharat